Hi guys, welcome to a little vlog. I haven't vlogged in a really long time because my, sorry, I'm just opening the blinds in the spare room because I'm now about to do some filming. So I haven't vlogged in a really long time because my G7X, my Canon G7X, this little vlog camera here, is broken i don't know what's wrong with it but basically even when it's got a fully charged battery and memory card and anything you press the on off button as i'm doing right now and just nothing happens so obviously something's wrong with it i have actually heard that these break a lot so i think that's a common thing um but i am filming reels today and tiktoks and things because it's tuesday and i upload every wednesday as you know on youtube but my next door neighbour is having their kitchen done and there has been so much. I keep saying drilling and banging coming from next door and then I'm like, oh, oi, oi. Um, and it's been so loud, I literally have not been able to film. It's kind of like that scene in Matilda where Miss Honey is trying to see Matilda's powers and Matilda's like, let's tip over, tip over, let's tip over. And then when she's trying to show somebody something, it stops. Every time I try and show like how loud the noise is on this vlog, the noise just stops and they stop all the banging and drilling <laughs> but if you follow me on instagram you will have heard the noise it's been really getting on my tits but what can you do during the middle of the day so i'm just going to do content that doesn't require there to be no background noise i'm going to do stuff like outfit reels hence why i'm in this dress at the moment it's so gorgeous it's from um pull and bear and it's like the viral TikTok dress and I'm just going to film a little clip with it. I've just babbleless big head my do. I feel like it's giving Rachel in like the later seasons of Friends. I've got no makeup on because I'm now about to film like an everyday makeup reel and we're just making the most of it you know we're just making do with what we've got hi again i hope everybody's doing really well i basically had another problem with this camera i got like halfway through filming my reels and some makeup tutorials and stuff on monday and then this camera that you're currently on decided that it was gonna give up the ghost as well so um it's been to the camera shop it's now back and it's a week later now it's now monday the what we on the 26th of June and I had such a quiet weekend. I was basically meant to go back to Norfolk and I had plans to go and see my grandparents. I had a beach day planned with some friends from home, including Nay, who you may remember, she was on my channel years ago. We did like an LGBTQIA plus Q&A together. Um, was meant to do all of that. And then on Friday, I got the most mammoth migraine ever. I always lose my eyesight in this eye and I essentially was too unwell to travel so I didn't go and I also, if you can hear crunching in the background by the way, that's Millie eating her kibble, um, I essentially couldn't really do very much over the weekend and I'm still having this like lingering migraine, it's like on this side of my head, my head just feels really muzzy, I'm not really sleeping, maybe it's the heat and I don't think the drilling from next door has helped because if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen that has still continued even today it was happening so now it's finished I think they've gone home for the day I thought I would just check in and say hello hope everyone's doing really well I am just about to go to the shops and get some bits and then I'm gonna have quite a pamper evening because I've been fake tanning a little bit and oh my god kudos to anybody <laughs> Millie's going to say hello kudos to anybody who fake tans because she's like, Mum, I didn't want to be picked up. Um, kudos to anyone who fake tans, because it genuinely is like a full routine, isn't it? Like you put it on, it looks really good, and then it starts to go a bit tiger bready. Maybe it's just the tan I'm using, I'm using a new one. Round my ankle starts to go a bit tiger bready, like on my chest I've noticed, maybe it's because I always put so much SPF on my chest. Um, but then you have to like scrub it off, start all over again. <laughs> and as a pale girl, it's quite a lot of upkeep. So I think I'm gonna do like a nice hair mask. Um, I'm just gonna have a little pamper evening this evening because as I mentioned, I've just not been that well um, over the weekend. So let's go for a hot girl walk, get some fresh air, and then I'm gonna cook a nice dinner this evening. Um, I've got a little bit of life admin to do. And I'm also in this vlog, gonna do a bit of a story time about what happened at the Harry Styles concert because my TikToks were like going viral and all the girlies were asking for a story time but because they were getting so many views I was like guys like it always scares me a little bit when things get tons of views like even a random TikTok I put up yesterday or the day before is now on 304,000 views and it's literally just me doing like marry kiss avoid 
like TikTok is a different beast. I actually don't I really understand. I'm 29 years old. I'm probably a bit too old for TikTok. But anyway. Another thing, can anyone recommend a good podcast? I've been listening to Luana, which my sister-in-law recommended, and I love Office Ladies and Off Menu and things like that, but if anyone could recommend a good podcast to listen to on my walks, much appreciate it. Oh, I literally just started filming because I got home, and Millie's ran through the door. She's probably sitting in the courtyard, and then as soon as she sees me, sorry, this angle is not the best. Should I try and make this a bit higher? You're currently balanced on, like... A load of kitchen things. Is that a bit of a better angle? It's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, she sits in the courtyard, I think, and then when she sees me, she runs inside. Um, but I just got back from the shop. It is absolutely <laughs> melting out there. I'm not going to complain about it because as Brits complain about the weather and then before we know it, it's freezing cold again. So we're just going to enjoy the weather whilst it's here. But I am like sweating between the boobs. And I thought I'd just show you what I got from the shops. I got these stocks. They're only three pounds, and the ones I had last time lasted such a long time, and I always like to have them in the background of my like sit down YouTube videos. I probably should have got a different colour, <laughs> to be fair, because that is the same colour that I had before, but never mind. So I got some white grape and blackberry. Hello, darling. Hey, sweet pea. I know she's like, pay me attention, hun. Um, I'll come and sit in the queue in a minute, shall I? She's being all cute, like rolling around on the floor. I got this because it's just really nice over ice. Speaking of ice, I got an iceberg lettuce because I've been really into big old salads at the moment and I do them with like fresh lemon, hence I got two more lemons. I do them with cucumber, I do them with parsley. They're just my favorite thing. I got some more red chilies. I got one pear on its own, which might seem a little bit broke, but I'm really funny with fruit. I do love it, but it has to be like, the right fruit for me and it has to be cut up in a certain way it's just like a texture thing for me I'm just funny with fruit so I thought I haven't had a pear in like years so I just bought one just in case I try it and I'm not the biggest fan I got some more just like red bell peppers I got some more tofu this is my favorite one I got some parsley I got some orzo which actually wasn't on my list but I was looking for pearl barley basically I was in that section and I was looking for pearl barley to put in like kind of vegetable soup because I love making like brothy soups with chickpeas and loads of veg and fresh herbs and some sort of like pulsy lentil situation. So I was looking for pearl barley, couldn't find it, but I decided to get this just instead. Maybe I'll make a pasta salad with it or something. And then finally I got decaf coffee and this was so expensive. It was six pounds 90 normally but with my club card it was six but six pounds for coffee like when did coffee get so expensive but anyway i got decaf because i really want to make ice cubes uh, made out of decaf coffee because then they don't dilute your coffee i've been getting really into making like an iced latte oh no i forgot to get oat milk that was like one of the main things i went for oh my god it's what happens when you don't make a list and you try and do it all off the top of your head <laughs> millie's inside my shopping bag what are you doing sweetie she's like trying to get attention now by any means necessary you're being good <laughs> Bless her, your eyes look beautiful, Millie. I'm just gonna spend 15 minutes tidying this room up because what is it about this room that it just gets so messy? Like it's always just full of my products. Oh, speaking of this book, I need to give it back to my sponsor. She lent it to me. I just finished reading this um, yesterday and I would actually really recommend it. The only thing I would say is that it has so much relapse in it. So if you are an addict, um, Maybe proceed with caution. It's not a trigger for me, but it may be for some people. Um, there's just so much relapse and it's just so heartbreaking. Like any addiction story is heartbreaking, um, but there's so much struggle and it's just really difficult. But it's also like very hopeful. He's a very funny writer. There was certain parts of it that I didn't love, like the way he's treated women over the years and stuff was not a fan of. Um, but his comedic timing and stuff like truly comes through in the writing and there's a lot of gratitude and it's also made me want to watch Friends from the beginning for like the millionth time. But yeah, I've been filming in this room. It's so funny using like a proper camera um, for my vlog. It's just like heavy. My arm muscles are gonna benefit from this though. Speaking of arm muscles, I actually have these weights. I got sent these as part of a PR package. Um, and I've actually in talks with a personal trainer at the moment too 
I've never had like a fitness plan or anything like that and as you know I'm not really an exercise person but it is something that I've been wanting to get into so I have a call I think it's tomorrow I think we're doing a zoom tomorrow with a PT and um, these are just some skincare products that I've been sent recently and they're sort of waiting for me to try them out this sounds really good I have Reynolds syndrome and I feel like this sort of CC cream may be very, very good. I've used one of these up. You may have seen it in my skincare empties. Also, these Super BBs are like my favourite. And I've actually started using this Sally Hughes eye cream. It's called the Ring Light Creamy Illuminating Eye Balm. And it's the first thing in ages that has made me feel less sad about the fact that Glossier discontinued their bubble wrap eye cream. And I feel like that speaks volumes well done Sally Hughes <laughs> this is a really really lovely eye cream speaking of skincare I have this box down here that I basically keep things in that are like brand new and then when I run out of a cleansing balm I can just come up to this box and have a look and pull one out that I'd like to start using next and I went through it the other day because I donate a lot of items to um, like refuge centres and women's domestic abuse services and things like that and every so often I like to just go through and clear some stuff out so I've got like a big box for them and then I also took out a load of stuff that I actually would just like to start using so we've got like another Philip Kingsley elasticizer it's like my favorite hair treatment there's a Kiehl's SPF 50 that I've never used before like some masks and um yeah just some like little treatmenty bits because if they stay in here and then they go in the cupboard I kind of forget that I've got them so what's that have I seen that? Um, I quite like to just keep them out and then it means I actually use them. I'll open this with you in a second, but let me know what you think about this little vest top. I got it from ASOS actually before I went to go and see Harry Styles because I needed something that was going to go under my suit. And I love it. I think it's so cute and I'll get so much wear out of it. But I had the biggest mosquito bite like on my chest. It was like here, if you can imagine this on me. And it just looked like so red and angry. They actually ended up wearing a top that covered my neckline. Um, but I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that. And then actually speaking of Harry Styles, I ordered a feather boa because I really wanna make some like transition reel TikToks. <laughs> Let's open this together. So you may have seen at the very start of this vlog actually, I was wearing this kind of crepey chiffon, like green ombre dress. There's a full length uh, video of it on my Instagram if you're interested. And it is just the most stunning dress. I'm gonna need scissors. Just cut that open. And so many of you were like gassing me up in this dress, being like, it was made for you. Like such a stunning dress on your figure. And everybody was just, just giving me all the compliments in the comment section. So thank you very much for that. It was great for my confidence. And then I saw that they make it in this other colorway, which is more of like a wintry sort of vibe. It's more like gray, sort of khaki. And then it goes into this bluey shade. It's like smoke. And oh my goodness, these dresses are 35 pounds. I think they look more expensive than they actually are. It's one of like the rare times in my life that I'm like, I think it looks nicer on me than it does on the model. Um, God, toot my own horn there, aren't I? But sometimes, um, oh, there's a little kid crying. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, but I just feel like it suits my figure really nicely. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to trying that out. And then whilst I was on their website, I saw this little sundress, which is probably gonna be too short because I'm really quite tall and I have long ass legs and this is probably gonna be like a mini, mini little sundress on me. But it's basically this little like cotton sundress. I just thought it'd be really cute for like beachy days. You know how I was like meant to go to the beach at the weekend. I just thought this would be so cute. It like straps up your back. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box. I still have time to send the green back if I prefer this one, but I think we know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try them both out and then I'm gonna like them like just as much. I think Millie wants to go outside. Do you want to go out, baby? She likes sitting on the roof terrace with her. There you go. <laughs> She's so cute. The other day I had a wardrobe clear out and I swapped over all my summer clothes for my winter things, like all my really long, oops, they see the wind just blew the door shut, all my really long kind of ribbed, heavy, thick jumper dresses and things like that. So I'm just going to whack these up the loft. I've also just put my suitcase up there because 
I got it down to go to Norfolk and then didn't end up going. Brilliant. Oh my god, that kind of got horribly wrong. It's actually scared for my life for a second there. There you go, 15 minutes, I actually ended up being a little bit more like 25, um, but it's much better than it was. I actually do this quite a lot where I just set myself a little alarm on my phone and then I will just do like a really quick whiz around and sort everything out, it always makes me feel so much better. Morning, welcome to Tuesday. I have kicked off Tuesday on the most inspiring, like amazing note ever because I just had a Zoom meeting with a guy called Adam Cox who's a personal trainer and I'm going to be working with him for the foreseeable future. I have never had a personal trainer before but I just feel like I'm at a really good place in my life to get fit and I haven't like consistently worked out since I was about 18 years old and I'm now 29 so over a decade of not really exercising which I'm not saying is like my fault or anything I've had a lot of like health issues going on but I just feel like this year with the surgeries I've had and with going sober I'm just at a really good point in my life to kind of revisit that whole thing and actually just improve my overall health and well-being so we just had a good old discussion about everything for like an hour plus such a nice guy I will leave him linked in the description box if you'd like to check him out because I just got like such a positive great vibe off him and I think we're going to work really well together so that is something that I'm sure I will document my like little fitness journey she's going to be a fitness girly again um I hope everyone's having a great day so far the noise next door has still been going on They've stopped for a little break because I can see from my roof terrace they're like sat having a cuppa in the courtyard. Um, but it's been non-stop drilling like all this morning since 8 o'clock in the morning. I've actually just made a little lingerie order. I saw that Boo Avenue are having a really big sale, like 60 to 70% off sale. So I've got myself some really pretty like little sets because I haven't treated myself two new underwear in a while and their stuff is just so pretty like I got a set with like little butterflies and like lacy and just like very very cute this is why we shouldn't complain about the weather because I've just had to go and put a jumper on um I actually think this is quite a cute little look like for a little worky from home like little silk satiny skirt with probably the oldest jumper that I own this is just a new look one it's a little bit bobbly and a little bit marked. The funny thing with vlogs is I always think that I'm going to be like, makeup on, like cute outfit, doing all these things. And then actually I just rock up, no makeup, my oldest kind of bobbly jumper. But I feel like you get the real me in vlogs. Not that you don't get the real me everywhere else. You know what I mean? It's like a very casual, cosy, chilled friend vibe on vlogs, which I'm really enjoying. I'm going to make myself some lunch because my stomach is rumbling. I'm really hungry so let's make something nice. I'm going to make something from HelloFresh. Oh my gosh, as soon as I start talking, Millie just ran downstairs. Bless her. She's such an affectionate little cat. Like She just wants to be with me all the time. I love her so much. Um, but my HelloFresh box came. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh. I'm a real recipe box kind of girl and the recipes that I chose this week are honestly chef's kiss i made this one the other day the korean style gochujang veggie noodles and it was so good like so easy so quick i just find it so convenient to have all of the ingredients in one bag in my fridge ready to go i also have a really great offer for you guys i'll pop a link in the description box for you all you have to do is enter code meg says at checkout this gets you 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off the next two months plus free gifts it's a really amazing offer i honestly could not recommend hello fresh anymore I've already made that one we've got a warm pesto roasted veg salad which looks so delicious it has like white and sweet potatoes in it and then like a pesto oregano dressing with feta like it just sounds heavenly and then i've also got this fire red tomato rigatoni which is my favorite pasta fun fact i think i'm gonna go with the salad though because salad over pasta feels a little bit more like a lunch right so the recipe box number is 23 so we'll get that out of the fridge hey millie girl you're such a good girl she does this thing where she scratches around her bowl like she'll go around and scratch i actually googled it when she was a kitten and it is normal it's like the equivalent of them burying their food and like saving it for later but she does it when she's finished 
So I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how that one works Millie, but I'm basically gonna chop up all of the white potato and the sweet potato, that's getting banged in the oven. We char up the courgette, we make the dressing, add the tomatoes to the oven, and then you basically just mix it all up and serve it all together. It's like such an easy, quick recipe. There's my potato all prepped with the herbs, salt and pepper, oil, everything. That is gonna go into the oven for like 20 to 25 minutes. And I've just been chopping the courgette and this is a random question, but what is your favorite vegetable to chop? because I am really enjoying chopping this courgette right now. Like the knife is just going through it, like absolute butter. So then we put these courgette rounds into a frying pan with no oil, it says. So I'm glad I read the instructions properly because I would usually have put a little bit of oil, but we pop those in there until they get nice and brown. I've halved the baby plum tomatoes and I'm making the dressing very quickly. So this has a little bit of sugar. It has fresh pesto, which is so nice to have fresh balsamic vinegar and then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. This is actually the first time I've ever used this one. My best friend Josh got this for me. Is it already open? This is one tablespoon of olive oil. Oh my god this looks like such a good quality one as well. So that's literally it for the dressing. Courgettes are charring up so beautifully. Like oh my gosh look at the char on that. I'm so happy with it. I'm just going to add the cherry tomatoes, no sorry the baby blum tomatoes in with the potatoes for the last final five minutes of cooking. I've got our bowl of baby leaves here and then I'm just gonna add all of the cooked vegetables straight in. So, oh my goodness, I've lost a potato. So there we go, all of the potatoes in there and then we're gonna do exactly the same thing with our courgette, which is all nicely browned. So that goes in. I'm also gonna toss in the dressing that we made, like this little rogue potato. In goes our dressing, and then I'm gonna give that all a really good mix up. The dressing is so delicious. One thing this has made me realize is that I need to get a proper pair of salad tongs. Oh my goodness, look at this salad. It honestly smells like I'm on holiday. So I'm gonna get this plated up and then top it with the feta. I mean, this already looks so good, but then we're just gonna top it with a little bit of crumbly feta as well, just to add that sort of salty, tangy feta taste. And oh my goodness, is that not the most perfect lunch? I'm just gonna clean up the plate a little bit, but is that not like a slice of heaven? Guys, this has made me so happy. This is like my ideal lunch. It's put me in the best mood. Definitely check out HelloFresh. Use the discount code in the description box because that was also so easy. I could honestly make that in my sleep. And whenever I try and do like an actual food shop, I always spend so much money and I don't actually get things that make proper recipes. Like I just end up with a load of stuff that doesn't actually make meals. So this is a lifesaver for me. I use my own code sometimes and it's just such a steal. Like I can't believe how much food I get for the money that it is. I'm just gonna do a quick taste test. It slaps. It's slapping, this is so good. Like what I said about it tasting like a holiday meal is so true. Like a warm, pesto-y, delicious salad with Mediterranean vegetables, oh my God. I feel absolutely brand spanking new right now because I had such a lovely bath and I did like a scalp scrub in my hair, I did a conditioning mask, I shaved my legs, I exfoliated like head to toe with a coffee scrub, I used a body oil, I did a face mask, I basically just did everything. I've plucked my eyebrows, probably not very well, um, but I'm essentially just getting ready to go out to AA. I usually don't put this much effort in, I have to say, but I'm the new greeter and it's the only the second time I've done it. So essentially I stand outside the meeting and then if any newcomers come up or if anyone has any questions or things like that, I only just got voted in last week. So it's my second time doing it. And last week was an absolute roaring success. I feel like I really helped somebody, so that's good. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm also gonna tell you about what went down at Mr. Harry Edward Styles' show that I went to, was it last Wednesday? Gosh. I went with my best friend Dom, who I've been like this with since year eight. 
and we're just inseparable. I love him so much. And he works with Harry, which is just amazing. He's got a very cool job. So when we arrived, we went and picked our tickets up and then went to our seats, which were in the Royal Box. I think it's also known as like the Wembley Suite. It was such a good view of the stage. I actually don't think I've ever been to see anything at Wembley before. I think I've always gone to see One Direction and then Harry Solo at the O2 and places like that but it was really cool like everybody that walked past was like David Beckham like I was honestly just sat there like then we went inside to kind of have a little look at the food and drink situation because there was like a full-on buffet laid out and it was all just like very bougie and then whilst we were standing in there chatting I saw Harry's mum Anne and I was like okay I have to go and say hello to Anne and at this point I kind of realized that Harry wasn't going to be there because the last time I went with Dom uh, that was the time that I met Harry backstage. You may have seen my story time. I just knew he wasn't going to be in this suite because there was probably, I'm going to say like 80 people in there and he was on stage in like 20, 25 minutes. And I was just thinking to myself like he is never going to come in this room because everybody is going to want to talk to him. And he's on stage soon so he's probably backstage like warming up because of course it did go through my mind that I might get to meet him again. <laughs> so actually realising I'm 99.9% .9 not because he's never going to come back in this bit at this point in the evening was actually quite nice because I could just relax but back to the story I saw Anne and I was like I have to go and say hello to Anne so I waited until she'd stopped talking to people and then I went over and just introduced myself and told her about meeting Harry and that he was just like really super polite and lovely we had such a nice conversation I told her this story about my mum and Anne genuinely teared up at me like telling this story and she held my hands and she was like what an amazing mum you've got and it was just like a really cute moment and then I was like anyway have a great time like it was so lovely to meet you and she was like you too and she held my hands and she did this little like scrunchy winky smile at me and I was like oh my god what a babe so in hindsight I kind of wish I'd asked for a selfie but the moment was what it was I mean it was just nice to meet her, if that makes sense. And then we went and got our seats, and then who and comes and sits literally in the row in front of us, I kid you not, literally the row directly in front of us was Stormzy. So Stormzy walks in, we're like, hi. Um, and then he sits down and like immediately makes best friends with this elderly woman sitting next to him, who I think her granddaughter must have said like he's a famous rapper and they like made friends. And from watching all of their interactions, I now think Stormzy is like the nicest person on the planet. Like. I kind of wish I'd gone and sat with him because he was with a friend, but the friend kept going and getting food for ages. <laughs> so he was just sat by by himself. So whilst I'm sure that Big Mike, because you know, we're on first name terms now because I sat behind him for an entire Harry Styles concert. By the way, this is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Worth. I absolutely love it. Yeah, whilst I kind of wish I'd said hello because I'm sure he would have been so lovely, it's also quite nice to just let people enjoy their evening isn't it and then the actual show itself was just so good i mean when is it not a harry show is just literally the best time on earth i like danced my heart out i just sang along to all the songs he did love of my life he did she um just all my favorite songs basically and i was really really super happy and just like tearful and emotional and harry Styles is my life what happened next i'm like trying to remember what happened next so the show finished and we were in the royal suite sort of area and then somebody said to Dom that they were gonna go and hang out like in the green roomy bit and we were like yeah okay we'll come so we were in a lift with Salibs that's what I call them by the way Salibs and then I'm like a plebe so treat plebes for kindness in a lift with all these Salibs and I'm there like play it cool play it cool and then we got to the green room and there was like so much food and so much drink laid out like it was again just like so super bougie and then we were in there just like chilling out chatting to people and the Harry government were there was like loving life because I genuinely am like a big Harry fan and I know who everybody is so my friends were like laughing at me because they were like how do you know everybody and I was like because I'm a Harry guys like get with the program and then Harry's dad walked in, Des, and I was like, I've probably got to say hello to Des, because there was only like eight people in the green room, and we were like four of them. So I thought I'll just say hello quickly. So I had a little chat with Harry's dad, which was so lovely. His dad was really kind and just like a very nice, down to earth, lovely person. So we had a nice chat. And then I started getting a little bit like, is Harry here? Because it really felt like he was nearby because there were just like these black curtains around the edge of the green room and people kept walking past with like headsets and stuff. 
and I was like, is he nearby? So I thought I would just cut my losses and see if he was still around, but he wasn't. I'm guessing he leaves the venue, like, as soon as the show finishes, for safety reasons. I'm assuming, I'm just guessing at what it might be but yeah I assume that's what it is which makes total sense so that was that and I was just like oh well I've had such an amazing evening obviously I was so 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 fortunate and grateful to meet him the first time around and then Jeff was like there's a crew party happening for like the band and the crew if you guys want to go and we ended up at this crew party until I got home at like four o'clock in the morning I think we left about three because it was at Wembley and it was essentially all of the people that work there so I spent my whole evening I mean I played axe throwing with Alexa Chung <laughs> for like half an hour that was uh really fun and then I spent my evening just being like so what do you do at Love on Tour and then people would be like oh so I arrange Harry's travel like if he ever goes anywhere that was me that booked the flights and like the arrangements and everything and I'd be like oh my god how interesting and then I met Harry's seamstress, who was an absolute ray of sunshine, like maybe one of the sweetest, cutest people I have ever met in my whole life. I was just having like the time of my life chatting to everybody, like the Harry government was truly out in full force. And I was like, do you guys do this after every show? And they were like, no, we just have a day off tomorrow. So it would have been Thursday where there wasn't a Wembley show that night. And then I think they continued on Friday and Saturday. So they were like, we have the day off. So it doesn't really matter if everybody's hungover. So they were just having like a right knees up. Like they'd clearly got it catered because there was so much food and just like help yourself to food and drinks and like whatever you would like. Having a really nice time, like I said, met so many lovely people. And then my friend was like, oh my God, come and meet my friend Meg. And then I turned around and he was just like, this is Mitch, Mitch, Meg, Meg, Mitch. And I was like, Mitchell Roland, yes, I know who you are. And then from about 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., literally just one-on-one, -on -one, just stood and talked to Mitch for like, yeah, 45 minutes to an hour straight of just the two of us, which was genuinely, I have to say, like the highlight of my evening like sorry to harry because the show was great as well but i just loved talking to him so much like i honestly cannot even explain what a lovely guy he is and there's now like nothing that he doesn't know about my life like we fully covered every single base and he was giving me some like really great life advice and we talked all about the music and like harry and he told me how they met like truly the origin story of the whole thing and it was just like the best conversation I've ever had in my life. Like I feel so lucky that I got to have it. And then after a while he was like, Sarah, new friend. And then Sarah Jones came over, like Sarah Jones, Queen Sarah came over and was like, hi, oh my God, hi, it's so nice to meet you. And then we were just having a little chat and then they were like, we're gonna head off. And I was like, I think I'm gonna head off fairly soon as well. Cause by this point it was like half two in the morning. I'm trying to think whether anything else happened. I'll probably come to edit this video and realised that I left like a massive part of the story out but I think that's pretty much it. It was just a great night and then obviously I posted like the picture of me and Mitch on TikTok and it went viral. Every single one of my TikToks was getting like 300,000 views, half a million, 650k and everybody was asking for a story time but I just didn't really want to do it on TikTok because sometimes it scares me when things like get that many views and it's like that many people are watching it sometimes just makes me a little bit nervous so I didn't do one over there but you know for my YouTube family I have to tell you what's going on with the story so I just had a brilliant night essentially and that is the end of the story and the end of my makeup I got an uber all the way home and then in the morning my parents because they were staying at mine that night were like what happened to you and I was like well what didn't happen to me it's just always an adventure you know whenever I go and see Harry it always just turns into like the most fun ever and I always end up with like photos on my camera roll that I'm like how did things like this happen to someone like me like it is genuinely just quite cool I love it so that's my finished little AA natural what's going on with the hair my little natural sort of makeup I'm just gonna have something to eat because the time is now oh it's 34 past six and I have to be there at seven so I'm just going to grab something very quick to eat and then head down and do my greeting so I better get my like friendliest cheeriest face on um but I will catch you probably tomorrow shall I or shall I end this vlog here do you know what I think I might end this vlog here because I think I film quite a lot so it's probably enough for like a homey vlog so I really hope you've enjoyed it take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching I love you lots
拜。